Hi everyone, welcome to Cobalt Academia's Hacking Hub to video series. I'm Bishra, aka re one or 0 an offensive security researcher and apprentice architect at Cobalt.io. With Hacking Hub to video series, we explore vulnerabilities that we encounter every day during pen tests. In a specific video, we will see how to exploit OSP SPS V2 authentication attacks by different scenarios. If you're ready, let's jump in. Hi everyone, in this video we will be covering the vulnerabilities that lies in the category of OWASP SVSV2 authentication. If you're doing a web pen test, you are probably going over some standards such as OWASP SVS checklist and you need to test for this category OWASP SVS V2 authentication. So I come up with this project last year, it has just announced, it's called Cobalt Vulnerability Wiki. What I've done is I wrote every single vulnerability that you can see in every single OWASP ASVS category and I created manual proof of concept for every single vulnerability. So as you can, uh, as you can imagine, you can't write proof of concept for every single scenario, but I tried to write broad concepts, so hopefully you will find this, um, hopefully you will find this useful. Let's jump right into the authentication category. So in this video, I will be using Port Civigar's authentication exercises. As I got this question before, guys, I'm not giving you the magical answer for Port Civigar's lab. Uh, you can just find the answer online. I'm not giving the magical answer here. I'm just trying to explain what kind of vulnerabilities we can see. And um, I will just be using the lab. Don't misunderstand this. Okay, so let's start with the most common one. Uh, I think this is the most common vulnerability that you can see in the authentication category. This is generally not accepted in bug bounty, but uh, we are considering pen tests right now. So it's a really low severity vulnerability. And in order to exploit this, like literally, uh, you need to combine this with a couple of different vulnerabilities. I will show you during the exercise. But let's start with the definition of it first. As you can understand from the name of it, uh, in the reset login or register uh, register area, apparently you can enumerate the existing users or usernames, email addresses. So what you can do with this is that you can combine this with a weak password policy so that uh, if there is no rate limiting, no captcha, and you can brute force the password and you can find a weak password, basically you can do an account takeover. So if you do these three steps and you actually find a can't take over, it's a totally new vulnerability. So basically you don't need to mention these then. Uh, but yeah, this, this vulnerability itself doesn't have a huge effect, but you need to combine this with username, email address, enumeration, weak password policy, um, and there is no if there is no rate limiting or capture a login form that allows you to brute force um, common cracking passwords. So as you can see, we already combined four vulnerabilities. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Uh, uh, in Port Seeker's lab, as you can see, there are many scenarios about username, enumer uh, username enumeration. So there are different uh, factors that you can think of if the response timing is different for, um, for specific usernames or if there is the responses subly or totally different, uh, if there's an account log, all these kind of factors that you can think of, but I will be starting with this one. So let's access the lab. As you can see, there are candidate usernames and passwords. I mean, I know this is like crazy easy vulnerability to find, but I will just include this. I'll just write random names, whatever. I will say login. As you can see, this is the indicator that username, email address, enumeration is possible because it says invalid username. So I'm going to burp. Um, all right, interesting. So I will be sending this intruder. First, we will be enumerating the usernames. I will be selecting this area in burp intruder. And for the payloads, I will be writing all the usernames that you can see in here. I will be copying these and pasting here. We are starting the tag. We will be getting a different length here, as you can see, uh, for the response because it says, let's see, incorrect password. While for the other ones, 
it is saying invalid username so let's see what was the username here it is puppet nice so I am closing this area, I'm clearing the positions and changing the username as Puppet. You understand the uh, what I'm doing in here apparently. I'm adding the password field, um, clearing the payload and going back to uh, password field and copying all these, pasting them here, starting the attack. We will be checking for um, status code now because it gives 302, it sends a redirect to the um to the user account so that's a pretty cool but super easy exercise okay let's see what kind of other common vulnerabilities that we can see in this category so the second most common vulnerability is bypassing two-factor authentication uh, i think i need to have this in here yeah two-factor authentication bypass I write a couple of scenarios here, but like I said, this is a broad concept. You can just put every single scenario in a proof of concept. I just tried my best. So let's let's just pick an exercise here. They're all pretty cool, but they're not super hard. You can, of course, try it yourself to um, increase your knowledge. Like if you are missing a point during pen tests, uh, when you're doing two-factor authentication bypass, this, this is a great exercise series to... Um, to refresh your knowledge um i will just choose one of them let's go with this one it's like super easy um it says that it's a broken logic um let's see let's access the lab let's, let's try to understand uh what kind of mechanism we see here um and fire a burp i always forget this so the username is wiener and password is peter so let's see what's going on. There's an email client um, and it asks for four digits code, uh, code and it also sends us the login to our uh, endpoint. Um, proxy, as you can see, there is this login to page. And as you can see in the cookie value for verify, it's basically given us the username. So this is the broken logic. What I'm doing is I will be sending this to repeater. You see this uh, post request with login. So let's intercept on and write the invalid value here. One, two, three, four, login. So we intercept the value and I will just be changing this to Carla. So we need to basically uh, brute force this value. I'm sending this to the intruder. Let's clear these values and add this one. For payloads, I will be writing numbers. This will be between 1000 to um, 9999. Let, let's start the tag. So when you wait enough, um, there will be a status 302 returning and you will just follow this to go to the account of Carlos. So this is just another scenario that you can see during authentication tests. To password reset functionality. I will be including these two scenarios which are pretty common. So the first one is password reset broken logic. I accessed the lab here already. So what I will be doing is I will be going to forgot password. Oops, burp is not on again. Yeah, I have a really bad habit to forgetting this. So I I am going to write the username that I am aware of the password of. I'm sending um, username as Wiener and I'm going to email client. Apparently I have access to the email client. So as you can see, it sends us um, um, a URL. So I am reaching this out. I, uh, I will just be writing the new password as pass. I'm sending this. And let's check it out what's going on with burp. As you can see, there is this post request have been sent with the password token in the URL and also in the body here. So username is hidden in here with a value and new password can be sent here. So when I send this to repeater and remove the password token from both the URL and also from the body and change the password to pass to, let's see what's happening. It sends us a 302 
and I think we just changed the password. So basically we can just remove the token and it still works. Winner pass two is just working. That's perfect. Now I have a new idea to, uh, to, to do the account takeover on Carlos's account. So what I will be doing is I will be going to um, forget password. First, I will be writing Wiener, submit this, go to email client. As you can see, new URL has been sent. I will be intercepting on so that I can play around a bit. I will be opening this one. As you can see, password token here, send this. And it will give us the field of new password. Okay, I'll be just writing pass again, submit this. So voila, I will be removing the password token, um, writing the username as Carlos so that I can take um, the account, take over the account of Carlos and I will be writing the new password as solved. I will be sending this. Uh, I can intercept off again and now I will be logging with Carlos's account with the password solved which solves the exercise super easy exercise but um, I think this is a pretty common one um, okay we remove these and I will be continuing with the following exercise and yeah, there's a certificate problem with verb I'm super lazy to solve it, so yeah. So there is a password reset poisoning. Um, yeah, this is this is a common exercise, um, the common vulnerability that I saw multiple times during pen tests. I don't know about you, but I saw I saw quite a lot of this vulnerability. So I will be going to forget password functionality. Uh, the account that I will try to take over is Carlos. I will be intercepting on again. I'm submitting this. Um, sorry, burp is not a. Ah, uh, I am always forgetting this. What is wrong with me? Let's go over this again. Forgot password. Let's write Carlos and let's intercept on. I will be submitting this. What I will write is I will be trying the headers like x forwarded for x forwarded host. Um, and I will be firing verb collaborator. Copy the clipboard. Um, let's write this and forward it. When I pull, nothing came. So I will try different headers now, such as x forwarded host. I'm sending this to Peter. Um, did we include this? Interesting. Okay, let's see again. x forwarded host. Send this. Pull now. Yeah, we got an HTTP request with uh, password reset token. That's super cool. I am copying this. Go into forget password endpoint. Okay. Um, question mark already included. When I send this, I can just set up a new password for Carlos. Let's wait for a few seconds. Uh, sorry, guys, I forgot to intercept on. I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah. Let's set it as solved and log in with Carlos's account with a new password. It's all the exercise, super common exercise, super common vulnerability that you can see during password reset. So let's go over what we saw in this category. While you are doing pen tests for authentication category, uh, one vulnerability that you should be looking for um, should be username, email address, enumeration. It's a really low severity vulnerability but can be combined with further attacks. As you can see, there are different factors like IP block, response timing, different responses um, while doing username, email address, enumeration. So the second thing that lies in this category is rate limiting. If there's no rate limiting, you can uh, do brute force attacks. You can check for login page, registration page, reset password, 
or any other forms um and this is another vulnerability that you can see then there is another common one two-factor authentication bypasses there are different um different attack types uh, I just included one or two scenarios here, but the other ones are quite similar and easy. I'm not going to include all of them. Uh, of course, online password cracking goes here also. Brute forcing goes here also. I included this in the first scenario that I showed. And password reset logic issues also lie in this category. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content. Cheers. Thank you for watching my videos. Stay tuned for more content. Cheers.